Now let's build delete employee rest API. So go to employee controller and just let me write the comment over here. Build delete employee rest API. Okay, so we are going to follow the same steps like controller layer is depends on service layer. So first we'll make a changes in service layer and then we'll get back to controller layer. So go to employee service interface and here we are, we are going to define a method called delete employee and we are going to pass id to this method as a method argument. Let's go to employee service IMP class to implement this method and click on add unimplemented methods and get rid of this comment okay and just call employee repository it has delete by id method method right and we are going to pass id to it so this will delete a employee from the database with id with a given id so look at here uh, let's say if id that client passes is not existing database okay we need to handle we need to handle that right so let's say if client pass id5 and the employee with id5 is not existing database then we need to throw the exception okay so first before calling delete by id method here so first we need to add a condition here check whether a employee exist in a database or not for that what we're going to do is we're going to simply call employee repository and uh, it has a find by id method we're going to call find by id method and we pass id to it so this find by id method returns optional optional object right and this optional object has or else methods we are going to use or else throw method here in order to throw the exception if employee with id is not existing database so similarly here we are going to you know write the lambda expression resource not found exception and the resource name is employee second argument id third argument value that is id pretty simple isn't it perfect so before deleting employee from the database we add a condition here whether a employee is you know employee is existing db or not with a given id if if the employee is not exist in a database with a given id then it will throw the resource not found exception okay and the rest api will you know return this message to the client it's pretty simple isn't it now we have changed service layer let's get head you know head over to employee controller now and here we are going to simply write the method public and the return type of the method is response entity and just pass type as a string and the method name is delete the employee okay now it is a method let's make this method as a rest api by adding at delete mapping annotation here and again the request that is rest endpoint value for this rest api is like this okay so client uses this rest api endpoint variable to delete the employee and here look at here one is nothing but employee id okay now we are going to handle this request okay so one is nothing but a path variable so we are going to we are going to use curly braces within a curly braces id so this is the syntax to handle a path variable okay now we are going to get a value from this path variable so let's use add path variable annotation and this is id and we need to store in some variable of type long here 
okay perfect all right now what we're going to do is we're going to call delete employee method of employee service class to delete the employee so go ahead and call employee service dot delete employee and just pass the id so this will delete delete the employee from database so once we delete employee from database then we should return a success response to the client right for that we are going to return here response entity so make sure that you choose response entity with two parameters body and status okay and uh, the body we can give like employee deleted successfully something like this and uh, http status we can give okay perfect right so that's it we have you know built delete employee rest api now we are going to test this rest api all right so go ahead and uh, stop the existing server okay go to spring boot main entry point class right click run as spring boot app okay our spring boot application is up and running now let's head over to postman client and click on plus icon because we are going to create a new request to test the delete employer rest api just use http localhost colon 8080 api slash employees followed by employee id so we are going to delete a employee with id 1 so that's the reason i am passing one here and make sure that you choose http delete method here that's it and go ahead and click on send button and there we go employee deleted successfully with status code 200 all right it means that we have successfully built delete employee rest api now let's head over to database and let's verify whether the record is deleted or not so go ahead and right click on the table select rows and there we go so employee with id 1 is deleted now let's go and let's delete I employ with id2 hint set button and there we go we got a success response head over to database and execute select query and there we go uh, employee with id2 is successfully deleted all right guys we have successfully you know built our crude rest apis for employee resource we have built create employee rest api get all employees rest api get employee by id rest api update employee by id rest api and delete employee rest api